My love for sports and my passion for sports came because sports was an escape for me. Growing up, living in a world where everywhere I went, there was people staring, pointing fingers, whispering. I was constantly underestimated, counted out, felt excluded. Sports was the place where I could go where I didn't feel like a kid with a disability anymore. I'm Ezra Freck. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm a 2020 Paralympian in track and field. Ezra comes from the root word azer, which means to teach, to help. And when Ezra was born, we looked at him and we said, you're gonna teach this world about the richness and beauty of how diverse this world is. That will be your role. And he's lived up to his name. I was basically born with one finger on my left hand, and then I had a lower left leg that was curved in towards my waist, made it really difficult to fit prosthetics around. And then at two and a half years old, I had a surgery where the doctors removed the curved part of the former left leg that was there and then took the big toe and put it onto my left hand. Hey everybody, I'm gonna be training, trying to get to the 2020 of the Paralympics in Tokyo. So it's just the beginning, I'll be 15, be pretty young, but I'm gonna work. Paralympics had been a dream of mine since I was really young and it was always like this seemingly really far-fetched goal similar to like going to the NBA or like doing becoming a professional athlete that was the mentality when I was younger and then I watched the Rio 2016 Paralympics it was almost like this moment where the universe was telling me like this is what you're meant to do this is real this is right there you can get this you know I put it down to the universe 11 years old and, and five years later the dream came true the goal coming into the 2020 Paralympics last year before the pandemic was make the team, right? I got an extra year, that goal changed. Let's go out medal. You know, let's go out and do something very few 16 year olds have ever done. I was four years old when I was first introduced into Hanger Clinic. I had a leg that was straight all the way down. There was no knee, it made it extremely difficult to be mobile or do anything active. And then I came to Hanger, I got a knee, I got a socket that was completely different, a completely different system. At four years old, I was able to keep up with my friends much better. Totally made me a more active kid. Hanger Clinic means a lot to me because they, they really are a family. How's the leg then? The leg's good. It was squeaking a little bit yesterday. I'm extremely actually. grateful to have Thomas there with me. He's been such a important part of this journey up to Tokyo and he will be through Paris and through LA. We've been through the ups and downs, trying this and this adjustment didn't work, tried this, didn't work, and we've been through it all. So to have something that's locked down, something that we know is, has been working well, and then make these last minute adjustments and have him a part of this journey with me, it's, it's special for sure. I trust Thomas, I trust Hanger Clinic immensely, I trust the adjustments we've made, and I trust that you know everything that we're doing is a step in the right direction. And eventually now it's led us to a leg that we strongly believe is a leg that will help me win a medal in Tokyo. The moment that Angel City Sports was conceptualized was actually at my very first track meet. We flew all the way out to Oklahoma and we were at the long jump pit. And my dad looked around, he's like, why are we coming to Oklahoma to run, jump, and throw stuff? Why isn't there this access to adaptive sports, to adaptive competition in Los Angeles? Anybody that has any kind of accident, loses a limb, stroke. is in a wheelchair, yeah. stroke, or has a congenital difference and is born that way, that they know they're among a huge community of people that are making it happen in sports and life or whatever. This is why we created Angel City Sports. This is why we're out there. This is why Ezra has a voice. The little 11 year old kid right now who's sitting on his couch, who will be watching me in Tokyo and hopefully being inspired by my story, that they have a path ahead of them. They have a Paralympic Games that is recognized by the world as the same level as the Olympics and people understand the movement. That's really the legacy that I want to leave behind my name.